Hi guys, welcome back to the Game of Muscle YouTube channel. You will notice that I've put a table in front of the sim rig and on top of the table I've placed a monitor all so that you moody miserable guys that complain about the vomit that is virtual reality video recordings can enjoy some high fidelity, perfectly stable or mostly stable until we crash the car 2D footage of Project Cars 2 with all the graphics absolutely maxed out so uh, I, there you go I hope you're happy and uh, let's get driving now we've got the Radical we've picked the Radical SR8 I believe it is uh, there's a couple of Radicals in this game hopefully I've got the, the name of this one correct I always tend to get them mixed up because they all look fairly similar and we're driving at Imola I've put the AI on about 90% difficulty and on about 50% drunkenness so we'll see how it goes hopefully we can keep everything together and hopefully we uh, can do a few laps without crashing you're only doing a, uh, a sprint sprint race here though oh there we go and there's the first accident as we go right into the back of that car there we go Let's try and get a grip of things now obviously when you go from virtual reality to 2D, it's actually quite a shock because one of the things with VR, don't worry this video isn't going to be me complaining about 2D all the way through, but one of the things with VR is it does really make clear the uh, subtle car movements and your inputs and what effect, what effect that's happening it makes it very visually obvious whereas in 2D things are actually quite masked and it actually makes the vehicles feel more sluggish when you're playing 2D as opposed to 3D in virtual reality, but one nice effect of driving in 2D is that we've been able to stick all the graphics, we've got bloody back end coming out there, can't steer, put all the graphics on pretty much full, not everything's on full, but mostly it's maxed out. Um, nice, nice grass at the side of the track, which of course is incredibly important. And uh, you know, you get to experience really nice, crisp textures. And even though we've got a Nvidia GTX 1070 we have got a good processor an i7 600k overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz but even though our graphics has 1070 you can actually pretty much max out project card and get 60 fps whoa dear god watch out car in the arse don't think he was expecting us to put the brakes on that quite so heavy there and obviously the big downside with VR is that things just don't look quite as crisp as they do in 2D so those of you playing in 2D you, you do get some advantages over VR you can you can lather your face with those uh, nice crisp pixels whereas those of us in VR have to sort of feel like granddads driving with our glasses that have uh, fallen off <laughs> let's try and get car through here trying to get a good feel for the force feedback this radical actually has pretty decent force feedback I have to say you get really good lateral load really nice self aligning where the car sort of corrects itself and brings itself back in line communicates what the rear of the car is doing although if you overdrive through there you're in trouble actually a really nice vehicle I'm not sure if this is one of the more finalized vehicles of course press build as it is uh, isn't the most up to date with all its cars as we always say to everyone's annoyance but you know I have to say it's a press build otherwise the Pac-Man will come and get me so it's just part of the rules ladies and gentlemen but this Radical is actually pretty fantastic I really really love Radical race cars they're not the fastest but to me they're very sexy not quite as sexy as a Caterham but the handling for me with Radicals is where where it's at they're open you get that nice sense of being in a racy vehicle um, you get to admire the environment you get to see where you we get, you get to see your wheels precisely you get to see the wheel arches and then a sliver of the wheels through the gaps in the through the air vents in the wheel arches you feel like you're in a proper race car and it's all nice and whoa watch out for a back there <laughs> it's nice and snappy but unlike a formula like a pure formula vehicle that has ludicrous downforce and only weighs three grams radicals still have that kind of profile and movement to them that you find with a normal full-size car but they get the benefit of actually having reasonable downforce through high speed corners so i think you get the best of all worlds with with radicals you get a nice grippy 
responsive car, but it also slides around the track a bit and you have to use the mass of the vehicle and use that tyre slip to your advantage. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic. God, watch out, we've got a car in our, in our rear here. Trying to keep glancing at the mirrors to make sure we're not going to get a car up the backside. Try and dab in the brake as well. You see the little app at the bottom there, at the bottom left hand corner of the video, that's Wheeler. Free Wheeler it's called actually, and that lets you see my pedal inputs. Any of you that use OBS to record videos, download that, it's really handy. You can see the wheel input as well. Just a really nice little app to highlight how bad I am on the throttle <laughs> brake pedal. Should probably turn it off and try and mask my terrible driving. Really, of course you guys who do lots of sim racing know this, but ideally you should never be coasting. You should come on the brake heavy going into a corner and then come off it, modulate it. You know, what I tend to do is coast. I don't push the brake hard enough. I don't brake late enough and I don't get on the throttle soon enough. So don't learn, don't, you won't learn anything rather from watching me drive. Oh, come on. Little sneaky, sneaky boy. Look at his uh, car skin. Oh, dear God. Went a bit sideways there. Kind of caught it. Now we're on the grass. Trying to back on, back on the road. Blocked. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, we got another car. No, it's slightly illegal driving there. Squeezed him a bit. He didn't take too kindly to it. <laughs> All over the place. But managed to catch it. I'm not sure how much of that was the wheel how much of that was me but it doesn't matter we're still pointing the right direction look at these vehicles they look like spaceships absolutely gorgeous and talking about vehicles actually i was talking to a friend recently about this <laughs> this is a fantastic story for you guys you'll love this story as soon as we've got how long we got we're on lap four of six yes we can squeeze this story into this video um modern supercars they look absolutely bloody hideous. I don't know what's going on with the sort of supercar, hypercar design at the moment. It's like they've, they've given car designers basically all these sort of... It's as if they're like game designers from science fiction games. They just put all these random curves and noisy rubbish all over the vehicles and bendy and all this like cheap case mod stuff inside the cockpits. And then... You look at like classic supercars, like the old old Ferraris, the old Lotuses. By old, it's been like 80s, 90s, 80s supercars. And they're nice, you know, they've got curved bits on them for like aerodynamics. But they also have these really nice tight square edges and finish on them and little subtle bevels. And they look like, you know, they look like a piece of high performance equipment and sleek and like a, a bit door wedgy. And that to me... That's, that's what's sexy about a vehicle, not having something that looks like a tennis ball that's been trod on by an elephant and then smoothed out. And what I was thinking though was playing a, a lot of Project Cars 2, there's a lot of vehicles in Project Cars 2 that I, I'm not that familiar with that are just sort of high-end race cars, prototypes, and you also see it with a set of course with some of the packs that have come out which include the I'd say more sort of high-end GT cars and the thing is those vehicles are obviously designed to be fast they're obviously designed to be racy but they have those square like flat edges on them they have the, the aerodynamic beveling on the front of them they're sleek like this radical but they're not all got they've not got that curvy rubbish on them so obviously the, the hypercar thing it's, the, it's a completely arbitrary design decision to put all these bends and nonsense on them I don't know. I just don't know what's happened. It's driving, it's these, these are important issues for one to get worried about. <laughs> but but uh, I don't, we, need to, we need to just put all the people that are currently designing these hypercars, put them in concrete barrels, put them in barrels, fill the barrels with concrete and throw them in the sea. Done. And let's get some designs, some modern hypercar designs, based on these... You know, these like prototype vehicles and proper race cars or 80s and 90s supercars. That would be really nice. Now we're catching up. Can end the story there. <laughs> We've got two laps to go. 
slow down for being given a penalty by race control you have to watch out uh, race control in this press build are a little bit hyperactive in terms of doling out penalties so we'll try and be a bit careful with our cutting but to be honest what tends to happen i think the way the way it's designed the way it will be whoa there's been an accident the smoke where is the car I can't see it oh there he is sideways on Woo, got through that yeah with the uh, with the penalty system and the way it works uh if you do gain a place it'll just tell you to go back a position to give the place you gained up and if you cut the track it'll say if you actually gain a reasonable amount of time i'll say like come off the excel slow down a bit otherwise you will get told to go to the pits as I say, in the press version of the game at the moment, it's a little bit funky, but uh, I definitely think it's just a case of tweaking the variables rather than it being the system's broken. So I think that'll be really nice in the final version of the game. And uh, I definitely like how they've done the penalty system. It's like in um, Race Room Racing Experience has a really good penalty system, actually, where if you cut the track... It's obviously up to you how you set your servers up for public servers and what have you. But if you cut the track in race room, you get um, you get your engine cut down. It's like an engine cut off until you've given back the time you gave, basically. But it's all automated. As I say, it's a server option. But that's a really nice way of doing it. It's not as harsh as some, some games where they... Uh, oh, here we go. Look, I've got to give up a position because I've gained a place there. Go on. There we go. So yeah, it's not as harsh as some games where Kunos have the uh, North Korea Death Squad cut, which is really frustrating when you're racing online. I think I think Race Room have done the the overall best job for public server racing. But as it is now in this press press version, I really like the uh, penalty system as long as it doesn't penalise me too much because uh, you know it should be nice to me. I need to send an email to SMS and ask them to make it just let me get away with uh, <laughs> with murder. But we're coming up to the start finish line and uh, that's our radical race 8 out of 25 i was quite happy with that race we need to tweak the setup oh no we've got one more lap to go sorry guys oh no yeah that's the finish line i always do that in Imola. it's got the two it's got two start finish lines bloody confusing um yes so that's the radical at Imola in 2d i'm going to do some more recording in 2d for those of you that don't like throwing up on your screens from the vr and also those of you that want to look at the max almost it's not completely maxed out graphics but near maxed out graphics project cars too I'd have to do some rain driving as well but that was really good the car actually seemed really nice i'm going to actually drive this car in some different conditions because that was surprisingly good actually but uh, definitely click the subscribe button like dislike all that business we'll be back with some more project cars too and some as i say we're gonna be doing some dirt 4 and other 2d games <laughs> with the headsets on the floor relegated to the carpet we'll be back with some more 2d games oh dear 